Joe talked me into taking the decoy. He says light switch ain't gonna like that if he sees it, so I think he might be right on that one. Let's give it a try. It is 242 sharp. We're back after light switch. If I was gonna pick one place I thought he would spend, and it would be right here in this cedar patch. This is where I've had probably the most pictures of him over the years. I've got a camera right on this blind right here, actually, and he's been on that a fair amount early in the year. I haven't checked it recently. We just did grab the card, though, but early in the season, he was up here a fair bit, and I haven't seen him in probably, I don't know, 10 days or two weeks, so really don't know. We're just kind of playing the game of elimination. We're eliminating this spot and that spot. And we got the decoy out today, though. We thought with this buck, he always seems to be pretty aggressive, so if he comes out down farther on these these points and sees that decoy, we're hoping he'd work into it, given that I've got the old side hammer muzzleloader from Grandpa, so I want to be, like, probably under, under 70 yards, if possible, on that, but... We'll see how it plays out. guys it's 505 the evening's coming to a close and we got shut out again last about the last three hunts been pretty slow so sorry about that we can't seem to win a hunt here for a couple days but we'll be back at it the, the action we did see was in the corn in the corn here out in front of us and also to the north we've seen deer up there but nothing in the beans so which is odd because Jared's having good luck in those standing beans. And we can see where we hunted standing beans, what was that, three nights ago, I think. We can see that plot down there. and That's been slow as well, so I don't know what the deal is, but we know where the deer are not. We know that much, so. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. We'll see you guys then.